Render is one of the best performing and hottest AI altcoins on the market. As this coin is up 960% over the past year and up 2,800% from its bear market lows at 45 cents, currently hitting new all time highs at about $11.90. In anticipation of the Render CEO, Jules Erbach, speaking at the upcoming NVIDIA GTC conference, this is set to be the biggest AI conference of the year, which tons of institutions should have their eyes on. And Jules Erbach has confirmed that he has some big announcements in terms of Render's recent work with AI. Additionally, this project does have some interesting connections with Apple, Adobe, and Facebook, all of which we will be breaking down in today's episode of the Everything Crypto Show. Now, before we hop into the content, just a friendly reminder that I am not a financial advisor. I am simply here for your crypto news and entertainment purposes. And if you do enjoy the content, please consider hitting that sub and like button and turn that notification bell on so you can be notified when all of our latest videos go live on the channel. So without further ado, let's get right into today's all coin of discussion, and that's going to be none other than Render. You guys know that we did start covering, you know, if you've been with the channel for a while, we started covering this all coin last year, and it seems like every single time we cover this coin, the next video we make on it, the price is even higher. You can see here over the past year, it's up over 960%. It has had some pullbacks along the way, but it did start, you know, January of 2023 at about 45 cents in march of that same year it had already doubled to about a dollar and fast forward a year later it is looking to breach the 12 dollar mark for the first time now this outperformance from render is something that i do personally expect to continue moving into the next phases of the bull run and in my opinion we are still very early on in this cycle and if there's one thing that crypto has taught me it's that the win Winners do tend to stay winning. A lot of people look for the next gem, the next render, the next Solana, but a lot of the times these coins do end up remaining the biggest winners as a lot of attention is on them. You get a lot of FOMO into these coins with a ton of exposure. And uh, yeah, that's why I do remain bullish. And that's why this is my personal AI altcoin pick for the upcoming bull run. So I do kind of want to cover why I believe this altcoin has had such an impressive performance over the past year but really just more recently over the past month, right? We can see that even over the past month, this coin is up 155%. So this is a tweet from the Render Network saying, register for NVIDIA's GTC 2024 for a deep dive into the future of GPU, AI, rendering, light field technologies, and more with Render Network's Jules Erbach. And they actually provided a link to the uh, the actual meeting down below here. This is gonna be on a Wednesday, March 20th. So basically in about two weeks time, the CEO of Render is going to be speaking at the biggest AI conference of the year. And we know that, you know, NVIDIA has been on absolute fire. It's basically been the story of the stock market. And this whole AI narrative has most definitely trickled into crypto. We can see here that NVIDIA is up basically 1,961% over the past five years. And uh, over the past year, it's up 273%. And we're talking about a company with a $2.19 trillion market cap, okay? Not a small company by any means. In fact, it is now the third largest company in the world behind Apple and Microsoft, even beating out the likes of Google, Amazon, and Facebook. So the AI, the AI narrative has been a big one. You could argue that it has been the one that's really propelled the market to you know the levels it is at now. And uh, that has also kind of made its way into the crypto market. So Jules Erbach here, there's a description for the meeting and we covered in our last video how in a Telegram channel, he actually dropped some alpha saying that basically he's going to be reflecting on Render Network's focus on distributed GPU systems. And he says that if basically if the Render team allows him to, he will do a dive into the recent progress that Render has been making in the AI sector, given the speed and massive changes that are occurring over there at the render network team so definitely very interesting in my opinion and you know i do expect a lot of institutions to have their eyes on this nvidia event 
to my knowledge render is the only crypto native you know ai related altcoin that is speaking at this event so if the if the render network you know or if jules urbach can drop some serious alpha here in terms of their work with ai and then if you consider all of the hype around crypto right now we have bitcoin basically hovering near all-time highs and it really does seem like at the moment the two biggest narratives in the market are ai and crypto both of which render seems to sit perfectly in the middle of so if jules urbach could drop some serious alpha here regarding the render network's recent ai developments considering all the institutions that will have their eyes on this event and that are bullish on crypto i mean you can basically see here that while bitcoin is near all-time highs render has already smoked past its all-time high uh its, its previous all-time high was about eight dollars and 70 cents and it just cut like that through butter almost at that 12 dollar mark this could put some very big you know institutional money getting interested in render now additionally i do want to break down this thread here that i found on twitter and i want to talk about this because it basically breaks down all the connections between render nvidia and some of the other biggest tech companies in the world so first of all the render network was designed from the ground up to support open usd file format now open usd file format if i actually go right up here this is the alliance for open usd it's an open non-profit organization dedicated to promoting the interoperability of 3d content through open usd universal scene description standardizing the 3d ecosystem will enable developers and content creators to describe compose and and simulate large-scale 3d projects and build an ever-widening range of 3d enabled products so essentially you know kind of looking for a standard a sort of like a standardized universal scene description for the interoperability of 3d content and uh, we can see here if we actually scroll down that some very big players are in on this, including Adobe. We have Apple, Pixar, Autodesk. Uh, we also have Epic Games. I mean, Ikea and Lowe's. <laughs> I don't know what they do with 3D content. I guess that makes sense for home stuff. But, you know, anyways, we're not looking at that. We're looking at these companies like Apple as well as Meta, who is in fact here on the Alliance for Open USD. And for those of you that don't know, before Render actually did kind of switch into the AI sector, that was the main focus of the platform was actually for 3D rendering content. Now, the NVIDIA Omniverse was launched in 2013 with Jules Erbach and Jensen Huang on stage and used a centralized version of Render Networks of an Octane Render Cloud. The GM of the NVIDIA Omniverse, Richard Karras, is on the Otoy Board of Directors. And Otoy is actually the parent company of Render. That's why you see here that Jules Erbach is talking about Otoy uh, and how they're working to basically use AI and 3D marketplaces through Octane Render Brigade and the Render Network. Uh, and you can see here on the Alliance Open uh, Alliance for Open USD that Otoy is right here beside Meta in terms of the general members. Uh, let's get back to this thread. So additionally, NVIDIA GTC GPU Technology Conference is an event for developers, researchers, engineers, and innovators. The focus this year is primarily on AI, and Jules Erbach is going to be there this year. Apparently, this is his 14th year on the panel, okay? So I would argue that out of all 14 years that he has spoken at this event, this one will be the biggest one by far, okay? In previous years, this NVIDIA GTC event, people were not focused on AI. AI. NVIDIA was not the third largest company in the world. And if you kind of line that up with the fact that crypto is looking really good at the moment, and you know, I would argue that I would make the case that this is going to be his most important talk yet, especially if he is going to drop that serious AI alpha like he was teasing in the Telegram chat. Additionally, he did actually tweet here following those images or that image of the Telegram chat kind of floating around Twitter. He said, wrapped up an amazing afternoon with with Eric Schmidt here at Otoy AQ just now, mapping out the future of render and brainstorming on our latest AI tech. Very excited to share more details on all of this at GTC24. So 
basically confirming that they are going to have some big AI alpha dropping at that conference. And I do believe that's kind of why Render has been pumping so much just in anticipation of this uh, of this event that is coming up here in mid to late March. Now, we can actually take a look at the Render Network's website real quick. And then I do want to hop into the chart to kind of wrap things up. But you know, for those of you that are unaware exactly of what the render network is, it is effectively a decentralized GPU rendering platform. People are able to, lo to loan their idle GPU power out to the render network, and they are then rewarded in render tokens when people actually tap into the GPU compute power to complete tasks. And additionally, these tasks were kind of initially limited to, you know, 3D rendering, and they have swiftly moved into you know, using this GPU compute for machine learning tasks as well. So what once was first for, you know, next generation 3D content creation, the render network has now swiftly transitioned into AI, recognizing that there is massive demand for GPU compute power, and the render network can, in fact, offer that here with their decentralized GPU platform. So really interesting stuff happening on the render network. We even saw Vanek, a traditional finance player, actually highlighting this transition they made from uh, from 3D spatial computing and actually moving into machine learning workloads. Okay, we've heard from NVIDIA themselves and a lot of these different AI companies. The supply is the issue, not the demand. There is a ton of demand for AI. I would argue that uh, AI is probably in like that exponential growth curve right now where they you simply just cannot get enough of this AI technology. But to power this AI, you need machine learning and machine learning is powered by GPU computes. And that is the supply constraint, a one uh, big supply constraint that render is looking to solve with their decentralized gpu workload okay or their gpu uh decentralized gpu rendering platform to handle these workloads rather okay so they do have a bunch of gpu nodes around the world and then they have that blockchain marketplace for idle gpu compute basically giving the ability to scale these next generation machine learning tasks and uh yeah that's the that's the gist of what render network is all about and they do have <clears throat> you know some very big connections so i am bullish on this project and the chart as well does it does look really bullish right now i mean we are basically in price discovery mode if you take a look at this chart this altcoin is hitting all-time highs it actually broke out of its all-time high that would have been back here in march a mar yeah march march 4th sorry and basically since then, it has just been up only. We have had some pullbacks along the way, but if you take a look at the weekly candles, this thing has just been going up. And uh, we have now had one, two, three, four green weeks in a row, okay? And this is the biggest weekly candle here for Renner that it has seen in quite a while uh, in terms of the price action, right? I mean, it actually started, it was back here on Monday, March 4th at about $7.51. And it looks like it currently wants to break through that $12 mark. So in terms of the price action, I mean, there's not too much to really discuss just because we are simply in price discovery mode. Now, if you go back to our earlier videos, I did say when Render actually broke above this $5, this $5 level of resistance over here, $5.30 to be exact, I did say that I didn't see any sort of resistance for this coin until all-time highs, and I did think that a run-up to all-time highs was likely. And uh, I'm not saying that I always get things right. That is definitely not the case. But this call was in fact correct. And, you know, the basic premise of this argument just being that if you take a look in this general area here, the first time Render was trading in this range, I mean, there was really not a lot of price action, not a lot of support or resistance. It kind of came up, peaked out, and then came right back down. So once we broke out of here, I did expect, you know, that there wouldn't be a lot of selling pressure here and that Render would very quickly make a run back up the all-time highs. And uh, yeah, it just sliced through those like butter earlier this week. And uh, now we are basically in price discovery mode. So taking a look to see what does happen with the, the token next. Now that's in terms of the USD pair. I do also want to discuss the Bitcoin pair here. And yes, I do like to look at all coins versus their Bitcoin pair. I think that it is always valuable to, to value all coins versus Bitcoin. And the general thesis kind of just being that, you know, if, if you're buying all coins and taking on more risk than you are, are just buying Bitcoin, you want your altcoin to be outperforming 
Bitcoin. If it is not, you are taking on more risk for less reward, and that is not favorable to you as an investor. Now, uh, there's a lot of confluence between the render USD chart and the render Bitcoin chart. The big one, in my opinion, being that render has broken out on its USD pair at the same time that it is broken out here on its Bitcoin pair. Okay, and to me, when you see an altcoin breaking out on its US pair as well as its Bitcoin pair, that is basically like a double bullish signal for that altcoin. And uh, you know, like I said earlier, I do expect this outperformance for render to continue throughout the bull run. So on that note, let me know what you think about the render network and the render token in the comments down below i hope you all enjoyed the content in today's video i hope you are all staying happy safe and healthy and i hope to catch you in the next one peace out for now